Hi, my name is Jeannie Brown and Bledsoe County is proud to honor the men and women listed here at the Veterans Park. The names on these walls represent the stories of individual men and women who stepped up and answered the call to service. Brett Hamilton was already on his way home from France sailing towards his honorable discharge when the ship that he was traveling in sank and he was killed. Young Barrett became Bledsoe County's first casualty of World War I, then known as the War to End All Wars. Eager to go to war, Barrett slipped off without his parents' permission to enlist in the Army and then was sent to join the fighting in France. In the meantime, his parents still thought him too young to serve in the military, and they contacted Washington, and young Barrett was ordered home. He boarded the Antilles, a liner sailing as part of a convoy with two other ships and four patrol yachts. The waters were rough, slowing the journey. Reports describe the Antilles as suddenly shearing out of formation early on the morning of October 17, 1917. A torpedo fired by a German U-boat hit the steamer, fatally wounding it, and it sank in less than five minutes. Brett Hamilton and 66 others perished at sea. He was just 17 years old. Before World War I would end, another dozen Bledsoe County men would give their lives in service to their country. Now the next stop on the tour is the Dr. Ross House. 